On Monday, America's highest-ranking military officer tried to soothe strained ties with NATO ally Turkey. Turkey was angered by the West's response to a failed military coup and by an apparent U.S. reluctance to hand over Fethullah Gulen, the Pennsylvania-based cleric it said was responsible. The fallout from the abortive coup on July 15th has deepened a rift between Ankara and its Western allies. According to Reuters, more than 60,000 people in the military, judiciary, civil service, and education have been detained, suspended, or placed under investigation since then. Fears have arisen that Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan is pursuing an indiscriminate crackdown on all forms of dissent. Chairman of the U.S. Joint Chiefs of Staff General Joseph Dunford is the principal military advisor to President Barack Obama. After meeting with Turkish Prime Minister Bin Ali Yildirim, a statement from Yildirim's office said Dunford condemned the failed coup in Turkey and said his visit was to show solidarity. He added that the U.S. was fully supportive of Turkish democracy.